Hello everyone and welcome to the 13th International Blueberry Seminar organized by Blueberry Consulting. We are here for the first time in Madrid gathering some of the most relevant professionals in the blueberry industry. Thank you for being here. Well, thank you. I'm with David. Let me ask you something questions. So, how relevant is the rapid growth in the blueberries production? Yeah. Rapid growth is extremely important for um, production of blueberries. Usually the first two or three years, we don't reach full production in blueberries. So if we can quickly get the plants to grow as fast as possible, to, to, uh, 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 we can get more production from the fruit because the size of the plant is correlated to um, how much fruit they will produce. So the faster we grow these plants, the more fruit we can get early on and the more profit we can get from our blueberries. Okay, but how important is to adjust the right irrigation in the phenology stage to obtain the best blueberries? Okay, so irrigation is obviously important for blueberries. They need water to grow and to, and to produce a lot of fruit. Well, what we know is that um, the water requirements will change as the blueberry develops over time. Obviously, a smaller plant is going to not need as much water as a larger plant. So as the plant develops over time, you need to add more water. But the other thing that we know, too, is that when there are fruit on the, on the bushes, they need a lot more water. They need about at least 50% more water when there's fruit than when they don't have fruit. So, so it's important that you, you irrigate um, very well when there's fruit on the plants. Once there's no fruit, you can back off a little bit on the irrigation. It's less relevant. But, but when, they're, when they're fruiting, it's very important to pay attention and to apply the exact amount of water and not stress the plants during their development. Okay. And how do irrigation, nutrition, and mulch interact in the performance and quality of the fruit? Okay. Well, irrigation and nutrition are very closely related because when we irrigate, we typically will also add our nutrients with the irrigation water. So, it, so it's important that we manage our, our nutrients along with the irrigation so that we can maximize the production. So we found that, that, it, that, it's, that in order to get your best production, it's best to, to fertigate or to uh, add your fertilizers to the irrigation water at, at the, in the proper amounts. Because if, if we uh, add too much fertilizers, we can actually cause salt stress or, 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 or burn damage in the plants. And if we don't add enough, obviously, we don't get enough nutrients in the plants. So they're very close, uh, closely related. It's also important where we put the nutrients relative to irrigation, because ir where, while water will move through the soil profile, nutrients do not. So we need to make sure that when we position our irrigation emitters, that they're positioned close to the roots so that the nutrients are applied directly to the roots. Now mulch, mulch is important too, because mulch reduces uh, water evaporation from the soil surface, yeah. so by adding mulch we can reduce water losses from the soil surface. But it's also very important too because mulch will reduce the soil temperature, um, and soil temperature ob obviously is important to the plants because the, the roots have an optimum temperature, and if it gets too warm they don't function as well and they don't take water up as well. So, so it's important to have um, that mulch on there not only for reducing water loss but for maintaining a good temperature in your soil environment. Okay, okay. thank you David well, for the you. interview. Thank you for all for your time. We are, we'll be doing more interviews with all the professionals here in the seminar, so stay tuned.